You clicked on today's video because you want to know if you can store PSA graded cards in a binder. And in today's video, I'm going to show you one item on Amazon that I found that can help you do that. But before we do, let's roll that intro. <laughs> Hey Gengar gang, what is going on? My name is Ryan, this is the Analytic Gengar, and welcome to another video. In today's video, friends, we're talking about how you can store a PSA graded card in a binder. And I know that sounds revolutionary, but that's where this thingamabobby comes into place. So, what is this, you might ask, Ryan? Well, this is apparently going to allow you to store PSA graded cards into a binder, just like the one we had in the intro. So. How does this work? Well, apparently what you're able to do is store up to four PSA graded cards, and I'm obviously holding it horizontally, but normally it would be vertically. And what you're able to do is take a PSA graded card, pop it into place right here. And I'm gonna do that on screen for us right now. And then there you go. I mean, that's kind of horrifying, but technically it did work. And as you can see, yeah, it holds a PSA graded card. Now. I am going to super quickly pop in a few more PSA graded cards just so we get an idea of what one of these looks like. And then we'll talk a little bit about the good, the bad, and maybe the less than functional item uh, aspects of this particular item. Now I found these PSA graded card holders on Amazon. There will be a link down below because um, I do, in the grand scheme of things, think these are pretty cool, so I did want to recommend them to you guys. But here is what a full page of PSA graded cards look like uh, when you put them together in one of these binder holders. So, first thing I have to note, um, I have a little bit of my Dark Magician Girl uh, collection on display here. Second thing is they look really good. I hate to say it, but there are a bunch of different ways that you can store your PSA graded cards. There are really fancy, I'll call them luxury holders. There are more simple cardboard bulk ones. But this, I think, is a really unique way. Now, the first thing I note about this is that this is already very heavy. This is a very weighty page now because there are a full four PSA graded cards. So you can see if I were to just hold it from the very top, it does kind of dangle. And that, you know, means that there is a pretty significant amount of weight to it. Other than that, if we look at each individual card, what you'll notice is that it's perfectly framed. It kind of looks like it's floating. And then the one thing that I really like about this is that they did actually put a little bit of thought into how they designed this item. So you can see there's actually a little gap here that you can use to get the card out. So what you do is slip your finger in there and then kind of pop the card out. And although it looks a little bit more aggressive um, than you know, what it actually is. Realistically, these PSA acrylic cases are pretty durable. So I, I, I personally am not too concerned about this. You know, you can see that they pop out pretty easily. Now, um, if you notice, each of these PSA graded cards actually has a perfect fit holder on it. So you can actually see the outline of the tapered flap up here. So if we look at the card itself, not much has actually happened to it. So the slab is actually in perfect shape and even the um, even the protector really doesn't have much damage on it. Mind you, these protectors are like 10 cents each. So uh, what is nice and what I think is one potential quality flaw of a system like this one for displaying PSA cards is that there's no surface protection. And if you collect PSA cards or really any graded card, you know that the acrylic cases that they come in can often scratch very easily. So it is very important to have some sort of surface level protection on them, but it's nice to see that, you know, very simply you can kind of pop this in and it makes a nice satisfying click. You know, you know, none of them are coming out. And more importantly, you get to look at both the front and the back in clear, really, really nice kind of, you know, framing, which I think is pretty cool and pretty unique. Um, one other thing, it's not as flimsy as you would think it is. So again, I'm kind of like wiggling this thing a bunch of different ways. It doesn't have a lot of flex points and you can see what they did was they created this outline for one, the cards to sit flush on, but also two, to add a little bit more structural rigidity. So I'm actually really forcing this thing to flex and now you're seeing one of these PSA gridded cards pop out. But aside from that, you know, assuming you display them and don't actually try to break the thing, these actually look really, really good. And you can see here, 
kind of what the whole picture would look like. I think it's really good. Now, in terms of how they look in a binder, because at the end of the day, that's all that's really gonna matter. I have here a <clears throat> two inch Avery binder. And what I'm actually gonna do is pop this open and show you what it kind of looks like in the binder. You can see here that this is a two inch three ring binder. So the intention was to have as many of these fit as possible. You can see they fit pretty nicely, but the one thing I will note is that the bottom as well as the top do actually have a little bit of overhang. So you might want to consider getting a binder that is a little bit bigger than this Avery one. By the way, everything in today's video was actually purchased on Amazon. So if you wanted to go down this route and display some portion of your collection, you can actually find both this binder as well as these PSA graded card holders on Amazon. Links will be down below at no additional cost to you. You click on the link and you know it helps support the channel a teeny tiny bit, which is always much appreciated. Um, but all things considered, let me just pop this guy into a binder real quick so we can take a look at how these look. And then I'll give you some of my thoughts on something like this because I know displaying your PSA graded cards is a very controversial hot button topic. Now, for people who don't know how to use a binder, uh, there's always a little push tab over here. It opens up, you just drop this guy in, presumably very carefully. So I'm gonna do that, because again, we would assume we would have multiple levels of PSA graded card. We pop back in that those binder rings, like that, and here you go. So that is what your theoretical collection could look like. As you can see, it's really, frankly, really clean, really cool. I had a green binder, um, but I would imagine these would look sick with a better color. Maybe something like a black binder or a white binder could help offer some very interesting contrast as opposed to this more, you know, very strange green. And other than that, I mean, the one other thing that I was concerned about when I bought these items to test, by the way, I bought these myself, is how they turn. So realistically, you're limited by the design of your binder. If you invest a little bit more into a good three ring binder, you will have better turnability. But honestly, this is pretty decent. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to turn and sort these. And obviously I'm fumbling around on camera with them, but all things considered, they are very, very good, I think. So my thoughts, if you wanted to display your PSA cards or some portion of your PSA graded collection in a binder, I think this is a really viable way to do so. As you can see on screen, on camera, live, in time, it doesn't take long to set them up. They look really good. The price is a bit aggressive. Uh, the, these are currently going for about $6 each. You get them in a pack of five for 30 bucks. However, we all kind of knew going in that displaying this stuff wasn't gonna be cheap anyway. Um, and all things considered, they look great. I would, however, strongly recommend that you put some type of protector over them. This way, the surfaces don't scratch on these cards because in the current situation, only the back is realistically protected. And in the long term, I would definitely make sure that you're not storing them upright like this. Oftentimes, people will have a bookshelf or something of the sort and they'll store their cards like this. But one of the problems with that, as you can see, it actually doesn't want to stay perfectly stable. And that's because of that extra overhang. So what I would recommend you do is actually store this flat facing downward and leave it just like this. However, if you really wanted to store your PSA graded cards in a binder and that's the way you chose to really enjoy them, I definitely think this is something you should look into. Again, there's not really much of a glaring issue with them aside from what's already obvious like surface level protection, the risk of tip over and obviously storing your cards in a binder. However, realistically, the only other thing I can think of is that you really are just limited by space. Obviously, these are pretty thick. It looks like, you know, already with just two of them in the binder, we might be able to fit another four. Um, so they are expensive and they are very space consuming. But other than that, these really do end up being a viable way of storing some of your items. And again, you just cover the lid and the benefit of something like this, I think the real benefit is that every day when you come home or whenever it is you want to look at your PSA graded cards, it's as simple as opening up a binder. So I think it's more powerful than having them locked away in a box that you have to open up and sort through if you wanted to see your card. But with all that said, friends, thanks again for checking out another video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hey, consider subscribing and leaving a like down below if you think I earned it. Other than that, thanks as always for your viewership and we will talk soon. Peace.